Today is the day that I live up to my channel's name. <laughs> Welcome to another Professionally Incorrect. I'm Liam Clisham, and this is an update to the Orient video I made, I don't know, three weeks ago or so, a month ago. I'm trying to build a tool today. And I was like, ah, you know, I really wish there was an easier way than what I showed in that other video. I'll just use mops. But then I, of course, went down a rabbit hole of if there's gotta be an easier way built into vanilla Houdini to do orientation. And there is. Uh, that old video, whew, incorrect. <laughs> Definitely professionally incorrect. So here's what I've got going on here for all of you. I've got a line here, eight points or so. I created this point uh, expression for orient with a vex value and set it all to zero and one. This is just the thing with orientation and orient. Got to set this to one. And then a transform down here, transforming the orient. And to make sure I was on the right path, I decided I'm going to go ahead and hook up a mops transform modifier, copy the parameter, do a relative reference in here for all of these and see if they're the same. And sure enough, they are. So if I start rotating this here, you can see the orient here, it's this right there, come over here, it's the same. It's the same. <laughs> this is so silly. Um, so for anyone that watched the previous video and started building their own pitch, yaw, and roll setup, you can do it so easily. Just you got to make sure that you assign orient with a point attribute. Um, you can't do an attribute create for orient. I don't believe. I I tried it before, so let me know in the comments below. But when I try and do orient here and change this to a vector, it only lets you do a three vector in here, not a four vector or vector four, vector three. Um, I tried doing different types of arrays and vector arrays and things like that. Um, so yeah, even if I put a one in here, it still doesn't pick up orient as needing to be a four or a vector four. Um, so my way around that was to do a point or attribute expression, um, like I showed at the beginning, set this to vector four, and then carry on with your life. Super short update tutorial, video, whatever you want to call it. I appreciate everyone for following along and uh, understanding that even these videos are not always correct, <laughs> even if I think that something is correct. Not that the last video isn't exactly correct, it's just why would you go through the hassle of that when you can just simply make an orient attribute, set your transform attribute down here to orient and carry on with your life. Thanks everybody. See you in the next one.